sweat public speaking. How to develop, practice, and deliver a knock your socks off presentation with no sweat. What is the one piece of advice that you could give people? To become a better speaker? Yes, sir. Okay, write this down. Speak. Speak, speak, speak. Speak. You know, you speak. You can do all the intellectualizing you want about it, but the learning is in the doing. So you can read about it. You can watch videos, other speakers. you got to speak. You, you're never nervous. Oh, plenty nervous. Oh, you're nervous when you get up yeah, there? Yeah, but you know what? Face the fear and do it anyway. What's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen is that people would start laughing at you. Isn't that what's in the back of everybody's head? Yeah, yeah, that they're going to laugh at you, that you've got nothing to say. But you know what? It's a drop in the ocean of your life. Big deal. Yeah, it really is. I mean, what, what do you have to lose? Somebody no. once told me that if you get up there and you look out over the vast audience and visualize everybody's in their underwear, let's suddenly you're right not now. into Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is, ooh, that is scary here at Man, Fox, too. Some better looking Put some clothes on, young lady. Ooh. All right, I wrote down some stuff. Best advice. Okay, you equate learning to give a good speech with an athlete, like Michael Jordan. Yeah, you know, somehow people think that they can just get up and wing it with a speech. So I always ask the athletes. Do you ever practice or you just show up for the game? Musicians, do they practice or they just show up for the concert? you got to practice. Well, practice. how do you practice? Oh, practice. this is good practice for me. Just right like what here. we're doing yeah. right now in front of the camera. Yeah, just do it. You know, do it into the mirror, record yourself, do it in front of friends and family. Sure. Yeah. Another person told me one time, if you're getting up in front of an audience, one of, one of the first things you do is just pause. Don't start right into oh, it. Oh, you're right. You know, take, maybe reach for your glasses and put them on, your reading glasses. You know, pause there. Great advice. It gets everyone's attention. Yeah. First of all, they wonder maybe you lost it, yeah. but then you have their attention when you pause. That's excellent. And pausing is one of the toughest things for speakers. We want to fill that airspace, but when you pause, you get people's attention. You give them a chance to think about what you've said. What about the old cliche of starting out with a joke? Well, it's got to be relevant. Yeah. It has to be relevant because if they're not, and it has to be funny because if they're not laughing with you, then you're the joke. You're the joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I hate that when that happens. All right. Well, where can people find out more material? You've got a a website I know that people can go to. Yeah. No sweat public speaking.com. It's on Amazon. Love to talk to people about this. Sure. And there's the book, 15 bucks. It's called No Sweat Public Speaking. And the first thing you can do right now is speak, 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 speak. speak. That's it.